The Thermal Scientific Rapid Stack Microplate Stacker is the perfect partner for the Thermal Scientific Well Wash Versa. Today I'm going to illustrate how the two work together with Polera RS, our scheduling software. The first thing we need to do is to add the Versa to our system. All you need to do is go up to the ribbon control, select tools, options, and the options window pops up. We'll switch to the equipment tab and you'll see we have a rapid stack selected here. If we click on the settings, we could switch this to simulation, but we are connected to a rapid stack, so I'm going to leave it at normal. We have to give our rapid stack a name. In the situation, I've given it rapid stack one and we have to very importantly identify the COM port. I know that this rapid stack is on COM port 10. So I'm going to select OK. Next I'm going to add an instrument. I'm going to say use instrument 1 and I need to identify what that instrument is. I've already selected here the well wash versa. This driver was installed earlier. Again I'm going to leave it at normal mode. I need to give my versa a name. I'll call it Versa 1. And I have to identify the COM port. The Versa is on COM 9. And I select OK. And OK. And you can see here that the well wash Versa has been added to our system. I could add another instrument, but for this demonstration, I'm going to stay with just the Versa. Next, we go to the upper right, we create a new assay. Here is our process editor. All we need to do now is drag and drop functionality from the operation section over into our process editor. I'm going to select run protocol. I'll drag that into our main frame and then I'm going to identify the protocol. You'll notice here under the properties, the protocol name is blank. So what I do, I go up to the operations task and I select refresh protocol list. What this does is this actually pulls through all the saved protocols that have been built, identified, and saved on the well wash versa. We could see here protocol name list has been updated. Select OK, back to properties, and there we are. All the protocols saved on this specific versa. I'm going to select wash one. All I have to do now is select run this assay. Our start assay is set up. We have source plates in the front and we have an empty stack in the rear. I'm going to select restack at the end and start now. What you're going to see is the equipment tab open. I can also switch back to the assay tab, but we'll stay on the equipment tab. What this is going to do is it's going to show you all the plates being processed and the status of those plates. So right now you can see that the rapid stack is retrieving container one and it is moving that container over to the Versa. The Versa is running protocol one and the rapid stack is prepping container number two. We'll just watch for a moment longer to see it retrieve a plate on the screen. And there we go. The rapid stack is moving container one back to the rapid stack. And then it is reloading plate number two into the well wash versa. Let's see what this looks like on the actual equipment. Here we see the rapid stack and the well wash versa working perfectly together. All assay protocols are predefined in the well wash versa's internal firmware, including all parameters needed to wash the assay plate. Just select the predefined protocol from the well wash versa protocol list. Now let's take a close up of the rapid stack loading the versa. Here we 
we see the rapid stack loading the well wash versa. The well wash versa is running protocol wash one. In this wash sequence, I predetermined that I'd only want half the plate to be washed.